Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about heater and cooler control. So let's look at the example first. Heater and cooler control. If the temperature is below 25 degrees, a heater should run for 45 seconds. And if the temperature is above 30 degrees, a cooler should run for 45 seconds. That means there will be a low temperature sensing sensor which will detect the temperature is below 25 degrees. Then a heater will turn on for 45 seconds. And there is also one more sensor that detects the temperature is above 30 degrees Celsius. Then it will turn on the cooler. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this heater and cooler control example. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we will go to PLC tags and default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. We have some inputs like start button, start button, and then we have two sensors low temperature sensor and we have high temperature sensor and then we have two outputs heater and cooler so heater will be as it is an output its address will start with q 0, 0.0 and then we have one more output that is cooler so its address will be q 0 0.1 and then we will go to program blocks and then main ob1 so here we will draw the ladder diagram i will zoom into it like this so firstly i will insert an already open contact for start button and then <coughs> i will insert a coil i will insert a coil here for heater I will write here edge and select heater from the list but this heater should turn on when the low level sensor detects the temperature is low so I will insert a normally open contact and that will be for low temperature sensor and then this heater should run for 45 seconds for that I will use a timer here I will go here to timer operations and then TP okay So this heater should run for 45 seconds so the pulse timer will be 45 seconds and then I will open the branch here and then insert a coil here so this coil will be cooler so the cooler will turn on when the high temperature sensor gets on. So here I will insert a normally open contact and then this will be a high high temperature sensor. So the, if the temperature is high then the cooler will turn on and it will remain on for 45 seconds. For that I will insert a timer that will be TP. So the pulse timer TP has a preset value of 45 seconds. So here as you can see when start button is turned on and then when one of the two sensor detects if this sensor detects the temperature is low the heater will turn on for 45 seconds or if the high temperature sensor detects the temperature is high then the cooler will turn on for 45 seconds so i will start simulation here
click on load and then finish. After that, I will start CPU and then start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. We need to create a new project here. So now let's go to simulation tables and simulation table one and then right click here and then load project tax. So here, firstly, I need to turn on the start button and then you can see here. If the low temperature sensor detects the temperature is low, then the heater will turn on and it will remain on for 45 seconds. And after 45 seconds, it will turn off. And after 45 seconds, the heater will turn off 43, 44, 45 and the heater turns off. And then if the high temperature sensor detects the temperature is high, then this cooler will turn on and it will remain on for 45 seconds. And after 45 seconds, the cooler will turn off.
as you can see here 43 44 45 and after 45 cooler gets off it was all about this example thank you for watching